he must not join the opposition party. In this day and age, a prophet of God lives amongst us, a man who moves in corridors of the spirit and obtains information from ancient councils. A man who prophesied about the 2008, 2013, 2018, 2023 Zimbabwean election results. A man who prophesied the coming of COVID-19 in the year 2018. A man who prophesied stores running empty in Zimbabwe, the 2008 food crisis. A man who prophesied and exposed conspiracies happening in South African political party, the EFF. A man who prophesied about the Zambian currency being strengthened. A man who prophesied the coming of Ebola disease. A man who prophesied about the Kwekwe gold rush in Zimbabwe. A man who prophesied the death of President Robert Mugabe. He prophesied the establishment of the Government of National Unity of Zimbabwe in 2009. He prophesied and declared fuel prices coming down in Zimbabwe. He prophesied the election of Joyce Majuru as the first Zimbabwean female vice president. He prophesied the death of the renowned South African artist Lundi Chimara. He prophesied and spiritually stopped the nationwide opposition party protest incident in Zimbabwe in the year 2019. To speak about miracles, people witnessed deadly skin cancer being healed in church. People who literally ran mad being healed in church. A dead child literally came back to life in the hands of the prophet. Overdue pregnancies being released and a child being born there and there. A woman came to church being pushed in a wheelbarrow not being able to walk, went back home walking after seeing the man of God. People who had one leg shorter than the other being healed to have their legs aligned. The prophet of God seated in a car with tinted windows and doors closed gestured the anointing at a possessed vendor standing by selling and made her fall under the anointing while she was selling, yet he was in the car and the vendor could not see him. He prophesied about the recent mass closing of companies in the nation of Kenya. In this day and age a general of God lives amongst us. He is the prophet of God, prophet E.G. Sibanda. Viewers all over the world have got a prophecy for the nation of Zimbabwe. I've been praying for the past few days for our nation Zimbabwe and I was praying also for the time that we are going to be having of our elections, our presidential election, elections this year. And the Spirit of God, as I was praying, showed me and also spoke to me in line with a man called Jonathan Moyo. And as I was praying, the Spirit of God gave me specific instructions to relay to the man who was, who was a former minister and who is currently in exile, that is Mr. Jonathan Moyo. The Spirit of God said I must relay this information to him that he must not join the opposition party. He must not join the opposition parties. Why am I speaking in this way? The Spirit of God showed me that if he is to join any of the opposition parties, there is going to be a lot of things that are going to happen on his person. He is going to be targeted even further. And uh, there are things that are going to happen to the things that are attached to him and the people who are attached to him. Why? Because of the things, the information that he carries or that he has. The Spirit of God said I must forewarn him that he must not join any opposition party. I saw in this vision as I was praying for him and also for the electoral process, I saw him being approached in this vision by people of the opposition who are trying to source information about the current ruling party. And I saw this putting him in grave danger. He must not succumb to any form of links with the opposition part. We are praying for you. We are praying that God may protect and preserve you together with your family. And what God is saying in line with your life that you are supposed to do is 
you are supposed to make sure that you don't align yourself with any political opposition parties. If you are to do so, it has to be done after elections because the moment you do that, you are going to put your life in danger. May God bless you. May God protect you in Jesus' name. Amen.